After subcutaneous infiltration with a bupivacaine adrenaline mixture, the anterior incision is shown passing retrotragal and up into the temporal hair. Posteriorly, the incision follows the postericular sulcus with, in this case, a high posterior extension. It is important to dissect in the correct plane, which is shown well here, to be just beneath the hair follicles, uh, leaving a thin layer of subcutaneous fat on the fascia. Dissection proceeds antero-inferiorly in this plane. meticulous hemostasis is performed. The extent of subcutaneous dissection is shown here. For placement of the key plication sutures, a finger is placed on the inferior border of the zygomatic arch and two parallel lines drawn. This has been found to assist with symmetrical placement of sutures on both sides. A generous bite of SMAS is taken with a 2-0 PDS suture inserted distally. A suitable effect can be confirmed by looking externally. The suture is then tied firmly to the less mobile parotidomasoteric fascia. Further sutures are placed with a strong vertical vector to affect the jowl and nasolabial fold according to the individual case between two and five sutures. For the neck, a similar bite of infraangular platysma is sutured firmly to the mastoid fascia in the posterior sulcus, also with 2-0 PDS. The dog ear thus produced is marked and excess smaz excised. It may be used if required for a segmental fat graft elsewhere. The cut edges are approximated with 2-0 PDS. For a final smooth layer, imbrication sutures using a 3-0 monocryl or vicryl may be used. Finally, the cutaneous flap is carefully checked for dimples and any tethering is addressed. Closure follows a standard pattern of skin fixation, importantly under no great tension. Especially at the ear lobule. The excess skin is tailored accordingly and final closure with 4-0 and 6-0 nylon over a small suction drain each side. The nasolabial fold markings give an appreciation of the three-dimensional rejuvenation after one side, in this case the left, has been completed. The 3D animation gives an impression of how the reposition malar fullness and loss of jowl appear after the procedure.